Hey everyone and welcome to a brand new video here on Aviation Code, um, a video to talk about uh, the current situation with the Boeing 737 MAX. Um, I am currently in Houston Airport, I'm literally in the middle of the terminal, um, so if you hear any noises, uh, that's why, but I really wanted to make this video because there has been so many updates with the uh, whole uh, Boeing uh, 737 MAX. Uh, well, it's pretty much a disaster by now. But anyway, um, I'm gonna tell you a bit um, some updates. Um, like there's every every hour there's a new airline grounding uh, the 737 Max, so it is very hard to keep up with the news. Uh, of course, YouTube is not the best way to um, convey the news. So if you want to keep up to date with uh, everything about the Boeing 737 Max, um, follow me on Instagram at insider flyer anyway yesterday right into the which video. was monday um but the boeing stock plummeted more than 10 percent um it was the heaviest fall since the aftermath of september 11 terror attacks um and then after that airlines around the globe started grounding their 737 max fleets uh, even though boeing had said multiple times that the aircraft was still very safe to fly um airlines such as Mor such as royal air Maroc. Mongolian Airlines, uh, well, Go, South Africa's Comair, a British Airways franchisee, all of them um, uh, grounded their fleet. There's also a lot more, but I'm gonna get into that uh, soon. Um, yesterday, the FAA released a statement saying that they will be offering guidance to airlines worldwide and that they're collecting data and keeping contact with international civil aviation authorities. In Latin America, In Latin, after that, uh, in Latin America, Aerolíneas Argentinas and Go, which is a Brazilian low-cost carrier, grounded their entire Boeing 737 MAX fleet, citing the uh, insecurity with the aircraft. And then Aeromexico um, also grounded its fleet. And then just this morning, um, all Boeing 737 jets are now banned from flying to and from Singapore in light of two fatal accidents involving the aircraft in less than five months, says the Civil Aviation uh, Department of Singapore. And then India's Jet Airways grounded its Boeing 737 MAX fleet following the crash of the Ethiopian jet. Um, now, um, nine hours ago, um, the airlines that had grounded the 737 included Shenzhen Airlines, China Eastern Air China, OK Airways, Kunming Airlines. These are all Chinese. And then if you open Comair, Royal, Royal Air Maroc from Africa, and Cayman Airways, Garuda Indonesia, Lion Air, Go Aeromexico, Aerolíneas Argentinas, and Silk Air. This was nine hours ago, and since then uh, a lot has changed. For example, Australia has banned all Boeing 737 MAX jets from operating to and from the country. After that, uh, in Latin America, Aerolíneas Argentinas and Go, which is a Brazilian low-cost carrier, grounded their entire Boeing 737 MAX fleet, citing the uh, insecurity with the aircraft. And then Aeromexico um, also grounded its fleet. And then just this morning, um, all Boeing 737 jets are now banned from flying to and from Singapore in light of two fatal accidents involving the aircraft in less than five months, says the Civil Aviation uh, Department of Singapore. And then India's Jet Airways grounded its Boeing 737 MAX fleet following the crash of the Ethiopian jet. Um, now, um, nine hours ago, um, the airlines that had grounded the 737 included Shenzhen Airlines, China Eastern Air China, OK Airways, Kunming Airlines. These are all Chinese. And then if you open Comair, Royal, Royal Air Maroc from Africa, and Cayman Airways, Garuda Indonesia, Lion Air, Go Aeromexico, Aerolíneas Argentinas, and Silk Air. This was nine hours ago, and since then uh, a lot has changed. For example, Australia has banned all Boeing 737 MAX jets from operating to and from the country. Two airlines that um, operate the 737 MAX into Australia are Fiji Airways and Silk Air, who have already grounded their 737 MAX fleet. 
and then this morning Boeing, Boeing confirms they will re release a flight control software upgrade for the 737 MAX in the coming weeks. And six hours ago, South Korea bans Boeing 737 MAX from operating in its airspace. And four hours ago, Oman Air becomes the first Gulf country to ban Boeing 737 MAX jets. Four hours ago, Malaysia bans all Boeing 737 MAX from operating to and from the country until further notice. And three hours ago, United Kingdom bans Boeing 737 MAX 8 operations from its airspace, grounding TUI, Airways and Norwegian Air aircraft. Its entire Boeing 737 MAX 8 fleet, which comprises of more than 20 aircraft, and also TUI Airline, the entire group, uh, grounded its all its Boeing 737 MAX across their European operations. Also two hours ago, Iceland Air grounded its entire Boeing 737 MAX fleet. And two hours ago, Boeing said it has full confidence in the safety of the 737 MAX and does not plan to issue new guidance to operators. So just one hour ago, Germany banned all Boeing 737 MAX from its airspace, even if the aircraft does not land in Germany. And one hour ago, Ireland becomes the latest country to ban Boeing 737 MAX jets from its airspace. And, and now, pretty much the, the whole entire world, uh, minus the US and Canada, have banned the use, have banned the use of the Boeing 737 MAX, including Canada, including, no, sorry, not Canada, France. France, Austria, and the Netherlands, who have just banned the 737 MAX from operating on its airspace. Boeing acknowledged countries around the world are banning the 737 MAX and state that they do, not, they do not have any basis to issue new guidance to airline operators. And then, lot Poland's National Airlines grounds the Boeing 737. And that's all we have so far. Um, this was a pretty long video, and if you want to keep up to date with the news, um, as soon as they happen, follow me on Instagram at InsiderFlyer, the link is in the description. Thank you for watching, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.